Abaton Esther from Amolasho District. She's been diagnosed of acute otitis media, severe pain in her ear with associated discharge coming from the ear. And after the prayer of the man of God, everything stopped. Let's hear from her. Secondly, she is short-sighted. And after the prayer, she got a complete healing. Let's hear Praise from Praise the her. Lord. Praise the living Jesus. Actually, my name is Abaton Esther. I'm from Amola Shaw Group of Districts, um, Abakuta Centre. I'm here to testify to the goodness of the Lord because he has been so good to me. I don't know. I don't know. Ten years old, I was going to GSS one. So when I entered, I was when I was in primary school, I, I didn't feel anything like short sightedness or anything because I was smart, I was sharp, I was everything I wanted. But when I went to GSS one September, whenever I were in class, even at the at the front seat, teacher would put me at the front seat. They would tell me, okay, what is this on the board? I'll tell her, Mister, I'm not seeing the board. I can't see anything. She will take me to the back. What I what I see now, tell her I must see anything. I'm not seeing colors of markers on the board. She will take me to the middle. I'll tell her mistress I cannot see. I do complain. But when she saw that the thing was every time, every time you cannot see, you cannot see. She told me, she took me to her office. She said, Okay, let me call, give me your daddy's phone number, let me call him. Actually, at that time, my brother was in GSS too, so he was also using glasses, started from GSS 1. It, we never used the glasses in primary school, or in our primary school days, so when we entered GSS 1, that it, everything started. When I entered GSS 1, my brother was in GSS 2 using glasses. My daddy, now, I went to my um, registrar's office. She, he said, okay, let me test you. Can, read this thing, I thought I cannot see. She said, okay, fine. Give me your daddy's phone number. I, read, I collected, gave her my daddy's phone number. He, she called my dad and told her that I'm always complaining of short-sightedness. I can't see from afar. She said, okay. My, my, when I told, she told my dad, my dad said I was lying because my brother was also using glasses. I felt like using the glasses. Let's go straight I to said, the point. I said, okay, uh, that, the thing was severe. He said, okay, maybe she should test me again. She should try and test me. Well, the following week, we don't the school hours. We even combine classes that we complain in. So I cannot see the board. Take me to the front of the board. Let me see very well. They will have to take me to the front of Sometimes they will dictate because of me. So I've been using the glasses for six years. And since then, I don't know. Anytime, even during church service, I will have to use glasses before seeing the screen or the available verses or topics on the screen. But um, I start, decided to stop it for some months, this 2022. But the thing was getting rampant. Taraba could say that I saw, maybe I, I could see changes. I was seeing changes. Then, then after Taraba could say it, Baesa could say that I said, let me see, maybe God will do it again. I saw changes uh, little by little. But when they said, Pastor was coming to Ogun said, I said, this is my time, complete dominion, that I will be free. Yesterday, when Pastor came to the stage, when he, we, when he was welcome to the stage yesterday, I could see clearly, I saw his face, I saw everything, I saw the color of his hair, I saw everything very clear. I said, okay, fine. This is my complete, even deeper life Bible church, I could see the global achieving everyone's goal. I said, wow, God is good, God is great. Even when she tested me, I said, let me try and see. She said, okay, read what is there. I said, G-Gon Rent House. She said, spell it. I said, G-I-C-O-N, then Rent House. She said, okay, wait. She told me to look at a dad, the back of a dad. I said, okay, what is there? I said, that is crew. She said, fine. 
I say God has done it. My God, I thank God for everything. I thank God for delivering me from short-sightedness. I'm very, very happy. I don't know what to say, but I say to God, I thank you. Here with me is Sister Elisomi Okoyemi from Ilogo region, Ogun State. She was diagnosed of painful right swelling in her groin since childhood 23 years ago. And after the prayer of the man of God, yesterday the swelling disappeared. Let's hear from her. Praise the Lord. Put your hands together for Jesus. Amen. Now let's listen. Church, praise the Lord. Praise the living Jesus. Our God is good. I really want to appreciate God for what God has done in my life. I came here on Wednesday, and as I came, they were still building this place. And in the evening, I entered this auditorium and I was moving around and I was telling God, I said, God, here I am on this ground. Everything you have not created inside of me must be uprooted. I must not go back home the same way I came after the six days. So the glory of God yesterday when GS was ministering, I was sitting at the front there and he talked about early swelling in your part of the body. I had an ear. And to the glory of God, as he just prayed, I just... I just, felt, I just felt nothing happened. But as I was going home, my spirit was telling me that you are touched, you are touched, but I still did not believe it. I said, I will wait till today. So I came during the evening program today. I was seated somewhere there. And when GS came up, before then, I have been around, I've been in church since 3 p.m. So the rain, everything fell on me. And as we were praying, as we were singing praises so that the rain would stop praising God, I was telling God, I said, God, as I am on this land, I must not go back to my region the same way I came. And to the glory of God Almighty, God perfected my healing. 23 years and near is gone and gone forever. Praise the Lord. <laughs> We all stand on our feet. We have listened to something.